to we pray the rosary in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there she shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. O oh, Mary, help me to see God's love for me today. And St. Wilfred, pray, pray for us. <coughs> The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Let's offer this for whom the, for whom the Mass has been said for, Myrna Kanigi. <clears throat> the first glorious mystery, the resurrection. You you need not be amazed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, the one who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Mother Mary, help me to see God's love for me today. And St. Wilfred, pray for us. The second glorious mystery is the ascension. Then after speaking to them, the Lord Jesus was taken up into heaven and took his seat at God's right hand. Let's offer our prayers up for all of the people in law enforcement and police officers and anybody that's in that vicinity of work. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, <clears throat> full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. O Mary, help me to see God's love for me today. And St. Wilfred, pray for us. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. All were filled with the Holy Spirit. They began to express themselves in foreign tongues and make bold proclamation as the Spirit prompted them. Let's pray for a return to faith and a return to church in our nation and our world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and it shall be, or without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. Mother Mary, help me to see God's love for me today. And St. Wilfred, pray for us. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption. You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the splendor of those of our people. God is pleased with what you have wrought. May you be blessed by the Lord Almighty forever and ever. Let us offer this occasion for the safety of all those who are traveling and working in the field. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need thy mercy. O oh, Mary, help me to see God's love for me today. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on, head, on her head was a crown of twelve stars. Let's offer this up to prevent board abortions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, is yes, now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need thy mercy. O oh, Mary, help me to see God's love for me today. And St. Wilfred, pray for us. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, our hope. To thee we cry for banished children of me. To thee we send of our sighs, mourning, weeping, this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile shall come to us, the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. O God, God whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant that we be teaching and meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him and humbly pray. 
And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking their own souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today's Mass is uh, being offered for Myrna for the repose of her soul, so uh, do keep her in your prayers. I was just just got another telephone call. Somebody from Illinois is going to be bringing uh, uh, somebody home. And I'm not quite sure I have to get more details on that. So again, it uh, seems like August and September, God's calling everybody home. So uh, we'll prepare for that. So do, do remember all of our holy dead today, if you will. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us begin with our entrance antiphon. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned 
in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God among men. Who knows what pertains to man except his spirit that is within? Similarly, no one knows what pertains to God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may understand the things freely given us by God. And we speak about them not with words taught by human wisdom, but with words taught by the spirit, describing spiritual realities and spiritual terms. Now, the natural man does not accept what pertains to the spirit of God, for, he, uh, for to him it is foolishness. And he cannot understand it because it is judged spiritually. The one who is spiritual, however, can judge everything, but is not subject to judgment by anyone. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to counsel him? But we have the mind of Christ, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate towards all his works. The Lord is just in all his ways. Oh, thank you. I forgot to turn the page. That's interesting. Today is Wednesday. So we should do the Wednesday's readings too then. So, so sorry about that. Those were correct. Okay. Well, now we'll go and continue on with the words of the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I uh, could not talk to you about spiritual people, but of flesh, uh, fleshly people as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still unable, even now, for you are still of flesh. While there is a jealous, uh, jealousy and rivalry among you, you are not of flesh and walking according to the manner of man. And even, uh, whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another says, uh, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos, after all? What is Paul? Ministers through whom you have um, become uh, became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers, for our God's, uh, you are God's field, God's building, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the people who have, uh, who, uh, bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Bless, bless the, the people, people the Lord has, has chosen to be his own. own. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, 
he who knows all his works. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had uh, people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out of many shouting, you are the son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him. And when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, to the other towns also, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose, I have been sent and he was preaching in the synagogue of Judea. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, one thing about today's gospel, uh, the reason why it's so specific it, is that we really, and we have to remember that about Jesus when he cured, he cured all the way. It wasn't just a little bit of a cure or or a, a cure that uh, uh, was, uh, you know, uh, well, you know, it's just a natural cure. What we have here is it says very clearly that mother-in-law was uh, very sick, had a severe fever, and Jesus healed her completely, immediately. And those who have fever know what I'm talking about. And when you're just a little bit uh, well, you still feel sick. But what it says is that she got up immediately and started serving them. So it shows that it was a complete and total cure, that she immediately was able to to feel the, the energy of Christ so much so that she even went so, so as far as wanting to be hospitable, the, 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 the necessity of hospitality that, that is part of the Jewish culture. One thing I would like to just reflect upon, I guess it's a good thing, maybe it was uh, opportune that the Holy Spirit had us uh, reread uh, yesterday's reading in conjunction with today's reading from St. Paul to the Corinthians. I guess here in the United States especially, because I'm afraid that uh, we begin, we separated ourselves so much in, in terms of understanding the purpose of being a Christian and, and the gospel, because today it, what we find religion to be is something that is a feel-good kind of situation. Do I feel good about uh, uh, going to Mass, or do I feel good? Am I getting anything out of, of uh, going to Mass or, or in my religion? And St. Paul makes it very clear to the Corinthians. It's a disease that occurred 2,000 years ago. He said, remember, Corinthians, it's not about you. It's not what you get out of God at all, but rather what God gives to us, and that the Spirit within us are fed by, by God, and that, and we don't even understand how he's affecting our, our lives. So it isn't whether you're having good feelings or or you're being renewed or something along those lines uh, when we come to, to worship God, but rather that we are in the presence of God, returning to God uh, that which he has given to us in love. This is what we call the virtue of religion. Religion is a part of justice. It is what is proper to, uh, to God, and it's his due. When we're all called by his creation to give God what is rightfully his. And of course, we call this now religion, returning to God what he has given to us. And to realize, again, that God is never outdone in love. So whatever we give him, he returns to us 30, 60, 100 fold. But as St. Paul points out, but our spirit doesn't even know it. Our spirit probably does in terms of uh, uh, revealing it to our to our physical selves and to our world, but rather it groans within us and it is fed within us so that we can go and, 
and change the world by the grace of God. So, uh, so what I really would like you to reflect on is, is also, is just like we have with uh, uh, Simon's mother-in-law, allow Jesus to, to heal us completely and, and to be able to, to rebuke any of things of this world, as St. Paul says, and to remind ourselves it isn't for us that, uh, that we are supposed to be getting something out of it, but rather we always are looking forward to the time where we'll live in the kingdom of God, to live in eternal happiness with God. Him giving us everything we need, and in return, we return it back to God so that he can fill us up all over again. It's a great mystery, and it's something that St. Paul uh, really did demonstrate very well in, in today's reading especially. So let us now stand together as the people of God, again, recognizing that we are imperfect, but this doesn't prevent us from having a close relationship with God, that he wants us to make us perfect as he is perfect, forever striving for that heavenly kingdom. We now turn to our heavenly father with our petitions, our supplications, but most especially our thanksgivings. So heavenly father, we do want to thank you for all the blessings that you give us in our lives. So often we think we're doing it ourselves and rather it's all about you. Heavenly father, help us to recognize in our daily lives, your blessings that we may give you the glory, the praise and the thanksgiving. We pray to the Lord. And as we see in today's first reading, St. Paul talking about the bishops and the priests that were sent to the Corinthians, let us pray for the leadership of our church that they will be able to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, remembering that, that it isn't about them, but rather all about God, and that they are able to plant the seed that may grow in, 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 the, in God's field, and that we will be uh, here in our little place of wound socket and Wessington Springs, Artesians, the buildings that will reflect your glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, Heavenly Father, we turn to you, and we also want to give you thanks for blessings you have given to our farmers and ranchers. Uh, we we're now in, in the growing season, heading for the, the harvest. Heavenly Father, again, we, we trust in your mercy. We trust in your guiding uh, and ever-loving care for farmers and ranchers as they literally feed the world by what they do. Heavenly Father, continue to watch over them. Send your angels to be with them as they're working in the fields. And Heavenly Father, we, we also pray for those that are especially in Iowa and Illinois that were struck so horribly with the, the, the windstorm that gets such devastation. We pray for them, recognizing that we need to always uh, be careful as, as the body of Christ, that when we rejoice, we remember those who are also suffering. Heavenly Father, bless our farmers, bless our ranchers, that they may have a profitable, successful, plentiful harvest this year. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we turn to you and we pray during this political season, all the unrest that is going on, that we can be a, a means of bringing peace into the world, a peace that comes from heaven, and that those who are in turmoil, like the demons in today's gospel, that they are rebuked, and that uh, they are uh, that societies turn to harmony in you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, Heavenly Father, we do pray for all those who are sick amongst us, especially those being affected psychologically or physically by the coronavirus. Heavenly Father, bring your healing uh, care to them. And if it be your will that they get quickly healed, then may return to your altar of praise with a song. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as we're remembering Myrna today, we remember all of our holy dead, that they may share the promise of eternal life with you in heaven, our true home. Uh, as we transition from here on earth, we look forward to join again with them. Heavenly Father, may they share the promise of eternal peace with you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now we turn to you with those petitions that are dearest to our own hearts, knowing you hear us when we call out to you. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, our spirit groans out, speaks to you in words that we really don't even understand ourselves, but nonetheless, we know that, that we are both spirit, uh, mind, and body. And now turning to you with all three, we present to you these petitions, asking you again to make perfect what is imperfect in them, for they are indeed presented to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, our eldest brother, who we know lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. 
Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what is celebrated in mystery it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Let Lord. us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word from whom he made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining through the holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks who have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And again, if you look at your word among us or you're living with Christ, let us say together the communion antiphon, how great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you. And again, in your charity today, do remember, if you will, to, to keep Myrna in your prayers when we offer this Mass for the repose of her soul.
And let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may conform, confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Yeah. As I said, I'll get more information about uh, the individual will be uh, coming back. Uh, it's going to be a cremation, so um, I, I'll get more information. I, I call them back and and uh, try to figure what the schedule is going to be. So uh, do keep them, in, uh, whoever that family is, in your prayers. Uh, also, uh, uh, Galen's going to be very happy that people are reading the bulletin. Uh, I noticed that uh, some, some people were signing up on live stream at 4 o'clock, and you mentioned it yourself. You saw it was in the bulletin at 4. Sorry about that. There's a confusion. I was uh, just a left over from, from last week, but uh, I'm glad you're all here, too, and appreciate you uh, uh, being patient with us as we work it out. But it is, like I say, if people are reading the bulletin, that's the good news. The Lord be with you. And, with and may Almighty God bless you, Father. Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.